This is Smallsy Surgery. Are you ready? Let's go, let's go all night. You're on air with Smallsy. Um, new music in just a second from the Kid Leroy. Stand by. Track called Girls popping off on TikTok. Um, right now, I would like to... Have we got a little something worked out? We do. Okay. We did. New yep. segment I want to do on the show tonight. Here we go. Conundrum Tuesday. What would you do? I feel like we can workshop that. We can do better. We can do better. We'll do better. But it's okay. It's okay. Let me, okay, so I'm minding my own business today. TikToking, Instagram reeling, and then, just for something spicy, I move over to Reddit. Reddit, front page of the internet. Do we agree? Oh, 100%. Reddit, like, honestly, is the home to every question and every answer you could ever imagine. Like, I'll Google things now. And I'll be like, um, like if I have a rash or <laughs> if I if I need to fix something, I'll be like, blah 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 blah. Reddit, because I know there'll be a mad thread somewhere on Reddit answering all my questions. Well, I'm on there and I see this, and so I welcome tonight on the show. You're going to have to call up thirteen twenty four ten. The question will be Conundrum Tuesday. What would you do? What would you do? Is the question. I'll read you the post. Hello, everyone. I'm a stay-at-home mum, so in my free time, I like to sit on my front porch and look around my neighbourhood. Sounds like a dream life. life. Um, I have concluded that one of my neighbours is having an affair. I'm wondering what I should do about it and whether I should knock, walk across the road, knock on the door and tell the husband. The wife is also a stay-at-home mum and almost every other day, a very tall and albeit handsome man shows up and leaves after a few hours, I'm looking for some insight. Conundrum Tuesday, what would you do? That's the, that's the question I'm asking tonight because I don't know what I would do. If you, if you knew your neighbour was having an affair, would you tell their partner 13, 20, 4, 10? Or do you sit back on the sideline with some popcorn? On the porch. On the porch, <laughs> waiting for something else to happen. See, because if it, if it happened, if if I if if I was in a relationship and my partner was cheating on me, and I knew my neighbour Miles was aware that I was being cheated on, I'd expect them to come over. I'd probably avoid. Like, I'd pretend I wasn't home at the first stage because I don't want to talk to the neighbours. But if they brought over some juicy information like, hey, I think your partner's having an affair, I'd want to hear it. But I don't know if I'd go over there. I'd take some pictures of the mysterious man just for my own... Peace of mind. ...collection. And then, okay, 13, 24, 10, I'm throwing this over you. If you you knew your neighbour was having an affair, would you tell your neighbour? Their partner. What would you do? Conundrum Tuesday. Go call Liz. Welcome to the show. Hi. Good evening, guys. Good How are you going? Very good. Conundrum Tuesday. What would you do? Well, first of all, I'm loving this Conundrum Tuesday. Okay, great. Secondly, thank you. Yeah. absolutely not tell them. <laughs> Only because. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If you did, you're at risk of the neighbour not believing you and then you being the problem, and you have to live there. This is true. So, it's not like the neighbour's going anywhere. Like, you're inject. I do I do tend to agree with you because you are injecting yourself into their... Who knows? For all we know, they may have an open relationship where the, t- the tall, dark, handsome man is able to come. We're, we're, Correct. Yes, I, I do. Thank you, Liz, for setting me <laughs> straight. We'll, we'll, we'll bring Conundrum Tuesday back. Um, Caitlin... Are you living for Conundrum Tuesday? Oh, absolutely love it. I think okay. this should definitely be a regular segment. Okay, great. Well, what do you would you tell the neighbour if um if you thought that the uh, their partner was having an affair? What would you do? Oh, a hundred percent, I would. But I wouldn't go over there and tell them face to face. Okay, I would. Like it depends, like whether you're like neighbours like next to each other or across the road. But yeah. I'll go to the opposite way, take photos put it on their car, write a letter, make it all anonymous. Ooh, I've heard of this in real life. Like, you're saying just print off, like, like your evidence, like a timesheet and go, hey, this is what's happening, and then let them sort it out themselves inside. You don't have to... You can do it anonymously, is that right? Yeah, but I wouldn't take, like, photos from where I live. I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> no, and make don't myself. be silly. <laughs> don't give away your location. Go two doors down and make it look like they're the nosy Ned. Um, and Rochelle, go on, bring this home for me. Uh, so okay. far, someone's saying no, someone's saying yes, but do it anonymously. Welcome to Conundrum Tuesday. What would you do? <sighs> What would I do? I 
would go over there while they're in the act and say, give me five grand or I'm going to tell your husband. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Rochelle. What? I, this is the best answer we've had. Apparently, did you say a few people called up and said this? Yep, multiple people. Multiple. Like so, Rochelle, yeah. what, what we should do is <laughs> when when the tall, dark and handsome man is over there, rock up, boom. Demand yeah, cash yeah. For, for, your, yeah. for your silence. Yep. yep. Love it. You you can listen to this show forever. I love you. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.